Hello my soccer universe. I really don't like to talk about transfers all that much because usually it doesn't pan out. However, when a major superstar moves to the MLS and denies money from Saudi Arabia, I think it's worth talking about it. Uh, that's a major news story. And there are so many ways uh, or angles to look at this from. Uh, but you know, let's state the facts. Messi came out in an in interview just as the Europa Conference League final kicked off. So it didn't actually hit me until the morning after. But just as this uh, key kicked off, he gave an interview where he said, I'm going to Miami. I'm going to Inter Miami. I have to take care of my family this time I don't want to hang hang around and wait what happens with Barca blah 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 um, I need to be safe and I want this to be my move and I think the first angle is now f I want to look at the messy angle uh, from what he says he was not happy at Paris I can see that I think the relationship was really good for a long time uh, for at least the first half of this season uh, so far so that actually there were rumors that Messi will continue his contract at PSG um, However, I can see that everything soured a that they want to cut his salary B that the fans uh, Were probably still excited because he's played a brilliant first half season PSG were really the show to watch however it was all conditioned, yeah, we want to win the World Cup. And when he came back, didn't look that great anymore. PSG were not that great anymore. That was not a team anymore. And that is what soured everyone in Paris against Messi. So I think PSG fans are more than happy to see the superstars go. Just give us some French players that we can hang on to. Mbappe and a few there, I think that should be enough. I'm um, not talking talk about more about PSG. So I can see that he was unhappy. First season was a disaster. Second, see, uh, one half season was really good. Second half season, I think, was decent on his part. It was definitely not his fault alone, but he was not hired to win the Liga. He was hired to win the Champions League against Bayern Munich. He was a non factor. So, yeah. And the move that he had to do last minute from Barcelona to Paris, where to live in a hotel and, you know, send, uh, with all the school, was not a good family decision i'm absolutely sorry so certain about he wanted to avoid that he has a house in miami he had a big offer of from saudi arabia um barcelona desperately wanted to bring him back he said i cannot wait around for barcelona i'm gonna do what feels right i'm gonna go to miami because i always wanted to go there anyway in a way and i think this makes a whole lot of sense uh from my part uh that this was a family move this was nothing but this was a family move. Man, 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 Messi saying, I want to take fate in my own hands. And from that, and also a little bit step out of the spotlight. Which is also not. I mean, Miami, I, I don't think Messi is a person that can ever hide. I think he's one of the most recognizable faces, uh, faces on, the, on this earth. I think if he maybe goes somewhere where they never heard about it, uh, in the junkies of Borneo, maybe they will not recognize him, but I think everywhere else, I think uh, Messi will be recognized. However, it will be a much quieter life than what he would have had in Argentina, which would have been, of course, a dream move from my part of view, that he goes back to New York's old, old boys, or that he would have had uh, in Barcelona. He, in, in America, he will be a little bit more anonymous. I would agree with that. So... From that sense, so there's also a big Latin American community in Miami uh, and to sweeten the deal. And I think, yes, he turned down the money from Saudi Arabia, which was massive. And honestly, I don't want to absolve him from that because he's still receiving money from Saudi Arabia, but I was happy that he did not go there. This is a project that I do not like. I don't begrudge anyone going there. It's not about the bottom line. It's the whole construct behind that. That's all that Saudi Arabia is trying, trying, trying to build there. Uh, so I'm happy that this did not happen. I really am. Uh, but while he might get a much smaller salary on the face of it from um, uh, Miami or, or the MLS, 
he there is some things that sweeten the deal and i think uh some not everything is yet under understood but a mls is supplied by adidas mess in adidas man there will be a whole lot of marketing income and he will get a good cut from that there is also and i uh, apple who has now the broadcast his rights and you know you have to buy the streaming package he will get a cut from that there are some legacies. Also, there's potential ownership of an MLS team. More money coming my way. I think that maybe he will get in the short term a little bit less money, but in the long term and legacy building, especially within America, he will get a lot of dough. And I think it might be this might definitely have been a long term investment. And to top it off, the MLS season is structured in such a way that yeah, you just have to scrape into the playoffs, so you have to make a push. It ends in uh, November. So there's still the possibility of a loan move to going to Barcelona, if he ever so pleased. Seems like a win-win in many ways for Messi. Now, uh, we talked a little bit about PPG angle. Uh, let's look at the MLS angle. Well, they have the new poster boy. So far, Slatan was the one above everyone else. Now it's Messi. You have a new poster boy and you have the best uh, uh, a player that was just the most important player at the World Cup is playing now in your league. Massive revenue. Massive revenue coming your, your way. Uh, the Apple Store subscription model was a complete disaster from what I hear. Now you have the chance. Many people will subscribe. Loads of money is coming your way. Uh, ticket prices already in Miami soaring by factor 10 if not more. They... Season tickets are gone now. You can put a non-refundable deposit down to get season tickets for the next season. The chance. The chance to get new. Ridiculous. Absolutely ri ri ridiculous. It, Messi is the ultimate cash cow. Absolutely ultimate cash cow. Now, uh, every stadium will be sold out. Uh, I would, for instance, imagine that you could now go into the larger NFL stadiums in, in the city, if you so pleases, because if Messi comes to down, town, you will have a sellout. you absolutely guaranteed to have a sellout. That's a big factor. The Inter-Miami parties. Inter-Miami, and that's the one thing that makes no sense to me. Inter-Miami is, is the worst team in the league this season. There is Messi and a whole lot of nothing and then very down on bottom is the rest of, of, of the team. You gotta step it up. Management needs to improve, you need to get proper players around him to not only have Messi, because a Messi alone will not win anything. You need to have the proper structure around it. That will be a major part on Miami. However, if you have now Messi around, you can actually boost it, you can get a nice spiffy new downtown stadium. Great for you. So in that sense, it's a win, but Miami need to step, step, step it up. And I could very well see, while uh, Messi's character is by far not a Zlatan character, I very much can see that Messi will not be happy with the team that he is surrounding himself with. And there should be a little bit built there. So that, I think, is one concern on the Inter-Miami side. But I guess for now it works out. Give me the money. America is all about the money. Once I figured that out, America suddenly made sense to me. America is all about the money. Really. That's all that cares. And Messi is the major, major, major cash cow. So that's another angle. So we had the Messi angle. We had a little bit the Paris angle. We had the uh, MLS angle. We had the... Uh, we had the Inter Miami angle. Uh, the Saudi Arabia angle is a, it, it's, it's a little bit of a blow. However, you still have uh, Messi as your ambassador. I so much hope that Messi just comes to his senses. They want to use him to, uh, to run the World Cup campaign that they do together with Greece and Egypt. And while there is some charm to it, that tournament has no other place to go than Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, and Paraguay. And I don't want to see Messi campaigning against this bid. Tie, cut all your ties right now. Just do it. Cristiano is there. He will pull enough enough steam. Cut the ties right now. You don't need that dirty, dirty, dirty money. 
So yeah, that's the Saudi Arabia part. I think uh, if they would have gotten Messi, this would have boosted the league even more. Um, in any case, for Messi in both cases, it seems like a retirement choice. And then there's the Barcelona angle. Um, I honestly think Barcelona a little bit dodged the bullet, although all the rhetoric was that uh, we want Bar we want Messi back. It is. It reminds me so much. Laporta is very good at saying it out loud. We want. We want Messi. Blah blah blah. It's the most important thing. It's the only the only thing that we concern ourselves with. Yeah, that happened two years ago as well, and nothing really happened. And Messi got burnt by that. And I think it was all too convenient, literally all too convenient for them to get rid of Messi because they knew this is gonna be hard. Messi did not get the uh, uh, goodbye that he deserved at that point. Uh, and now they're building a new squad. They have finally gotten rid of all the old players. You need to start new and yes, it will hurt Barca fans. It will hurt and it has to hurt. You just won a title for crying out loud. So there's nothing to, to, to complain about there either. Don't chase that messy dream. That era is gone. However, the little door is open. I said it already. You might get messy on the loan. And we saw that Beckham did that with Milan twice. And I have to say it worked out well for him. And actually to the point that, that I started liking Beckham. So that's another angle that we have to have, have to look there. It's a huge move. The last angle for me is uh, Messi is retired. <laughs> he may make, and you know, I am still listening to podcasts from from, from America. I I'm happy for all my American friends out there who now can watch the MLS with Messi. Great, wonderful. But for me, if you're not competing at the European level in the champ in, in Champions League, you're basically retired. But Good, 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 good on you. You made a, gr I think may this was a shrewd move because it uh, brings him a lot of legacy, brings him probably a little bit of peace and a whole lot of cash on the American side. And also the MLS is considering now adding the, comp the um, Copa Libertadores. Messi in Argentina, that would be something. But for me personally, uh, it means his Messi retired. And the other thing that, while you may hate Messi's guts right now, PSG fans, the one thing I have to tell you is, and that will always be associated with your, your club, Messi won titles with Argentina, not. I mean, not as a Barcelona player. Messi in a Barcelona shirt, that's the iconic image. However, Messi in an Argentina shirt, he did this as a PSG player. And he served the Qataris quite well in that regard. I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know your thoughts on Messi going to the MLS. Uh, it's probably the last time, potentially, unless he goes on loan to Barcelona, which I really, really, really don't hope ahead that he does. I, I actually wanted Barcelona complete, complete a rebuild and do it the smart way. Bring Messi back will not do that. But for me, it's probably the last time outside of international tournaments that I will talk about Messi on this channel. And that's fine. Absolutely fine. He was the greatest player of his generation. And I had loads of fun while watching him. I will not get an Inter Miami Messi shirt. I'm not. But I'm happy for everyone who can watch now Messi. Not on TV in America, but directly in the stadium. But you have to... Pull out a load of cash, which is a whole other issue, but hey, so be it. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.